Hi guys, welcome to Canva for, Begin for Beginners Tutorial. So in this session, I will show you the basic features of Canva for beginners. So let me start with, with signing up for a Canva account. So go to canva.com. This is a beginner's guide. So I assume that you don't have Canva yet. I used to just log in with Google. I already have a remembered password here. So I'll just go and log in. If you don't have an account, just click sign up and then enter your email address and confirm your email ad. And then go back to the login page and then log in. You have here on the leftmost panel, create a design. And below that, you can see all your designs. If you're already doing that, templates, photo, apps, brand kit design school, folders, and of course, trash. And on the major screen, on the main screen, there's a create a design. Um, there's a bunch of templates already that's recommended by, that are recommended by Canva. So there's Facebook post, Instagram, Instagram story, YouTube thumbnail, Facebook event cover, YouTube channel art, and a lot more. And then here you can also find all the designs that I've, that I've made and the rest of the templates. So let's start with create a design. And since I think most of you are usually doing business on Facebook and posting Facebook, posting on Facebook. So let's start with doing a Facebook post. This is very easy. You don't have to identify, determine what's the size of a Facebook post because there's already a, a template to do that. So let me just click on a, under the create a design Facebook post. And here you can see a lot of recommended templates. You don't have to do your design from scratch. You can just select a template that suits your theme or your brand and just customize it. So for me, since I'm working on a template for related to women quotes, I'll just type in, because it's summer, I want to have a summer theme for my Facebook post with women quotes. So you can type in summer and find the templates related to summer. So you can see a bunch of templates here and just pick one. So as you can see, as you hover on the template, there is a word free, but there are templates that is no free. It means that it's a paid template and you have to pay that when you download. But since there's already a lot of free templates out here in Canva, you don't have to really choose the paid template if you don't wanna pay. And there are already a lot of awesome photos here. So let me pick this one. Use a design, untitled design Facebook post. Here you can see that you can change the name of the template so that it's easy for you to search for that after you save. So I'll say summer women coat. So let me start editing this one. Uh, I really don't wanna show this lady here, but sun, okay. There are only two components that you can edit, but you can customize this design based on your theme and branding. So first let's customize the image. If you want to have to use a customized photos, you can, you can use your uploaded photo. So let me explain to you the, the, the panels here with all the components on the leftmost part of the screen. You can see the templates, the photos. These photos are the photos uploaded by Canva that you can use. Um, they really have great photos out here. You just have to pick and then maybe you can you can search for something that 
that you can use, let's say beach. Let's try if they have some photos about beach. Awesome, so there are free photos, beach photos, there are also pro beach photos. So I'll just use the free ones. This one I like. So if I customize my design with this, with one of the photos by Canva, I'll just pick, grab, and drop it to the template. So now it looks like that. I like this one better than the default design. But if you want a, a photo of your own to be placed on the design, then you can upload a photo and then upload. You can choose from among the uploaded photos, but if you don't have an uploaded photo yet, go to upload an image or video and then choose a file from your desktop And then, and then click open to put that photo on the Canva directory. But now for me, I would like to use a one of the photos of Canva, which is this one, the beach photo. And then I will customize the text. I will edit the text, sun, and make it sun, salt, and Sand. Um, so I'll put this on my women powered page. I'll just gonna edit this to women powered stories. And let me find let me find a nice summer coat for women. Coat for women. Let me copy a quote that I got from Google here. So the size of the text is so large. So I will reduce that into something that will fit in on the template. I can also change the font. So here, these are all the functions for the font, the size, the font type, the size, the color of the font. And if, it's, if it can be bold, italized, or underlined, you can also use the alignment and the spacing. So now I'll edit it into something that is handwriting. I will change the font into handwriting. And let's see if there are better font for this coat and that is more visible. Let me try this finger paint. Okay. I like the finger paint. The default font color is white, but for me it's not so visible. So let me Edit that into a different color. Let's see if it's visible with blue or this one. So you can highlight the text and then change the color. Um, I'm not so sure about this. Let's try this one. Okay, or this. No, this one, no, green, no, green. Oh, I think green is better. And the woman powered stories text, let me change that into something pink. Okay. All right, so because I don't need the rest of the text and the template, I'll just delete it. Or if you want to adjust the, the certain size of the text or you want to remove or ungroup this one you can click this entire box you see it's all in one box the women powered stories and the code i want to ungroup that one so that i can just i can adjust 
the text better and increase the size without affecting the other text box. So I moved the women forward stories a bit bigger. I made it a bit bigger. And then the coat as well. Okay. All right, that's it. And one thing that I do for my Facebook post is to include my logo. I already uploaded a copy of my logo here in my directory. So I'm just gonna pull it out, pick and grab and drop. Okay. Drag and drop and then adjust the size of the logo. Put it somewhere you want to put it that it's visible. Just want to put it here, the corner. Okay, that's it. So I'm done with my Facebook post. It's so easy. I think it's just less than five minutes. And so I can post that. I will just download that one. So to download, click this arrow down here on the right, right upper right corner of the page this one and then just choose the suggested file type which is png and then download and save your selected destination on your computer so we're done with the facebook post you can also use this facebook post to post on your instagram automatically if you're using hootsuite then you can use the same template to post on your Instagram because the, the size is almost similar, but there's also a separate template for, I, for IG post. But usually I don't wanna create the same design with different sizes. Um, with Canva Pro, you can, you can resize your design if you are on Canva Pro without you know, changing to a different template. So that is something that you cannot do in a free version. But this one is very helpful for me already. Okay, so let's go to the next 